Hey, everybody, Ann here. I guess I should look at the camera. The camera's like right there. Um, one of these days, I'm going to make an actual effort to make myself look amazing. When I do this video, I'm going to do something with my hair. I'm going to put some makeup on. And, uh, well, Betty, she's perfect just the way she is, right? Yeah. But anyhow, yeah, I'm kind of growing my bangs out. See this? That's, uh, that's getting there. I wish I had never cut them. I wish, I wish, I wish. But I really love the way the gray's coming in. See, I still got s some in the back that's kind of the darkish, but it's really nice the way that it frames my face, the lighter gray and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, this is what I look like. No makeup, literally zero makeup. Um... And I don't know. I guess I like the way I look with gray hair and no makeup. But someday I am going to spruce up and I'm going to buy some clothes that fit me right. I mean, I've been losing weight, so all my clothes are like super duper baggy. You know, everything from my undergarments to my t-shirt to my pants, they're all just kind of, you know, not fitting all that great. So, yeah, I just got to say that van life has been very, very good for me. It has, I'm more active. You know, I, I've thought about, God, sometimes this is hard and it gets hot and it's going to get cold and things are inconvenient and I need to get rid of this double chin. <laughs> Let me see. There, that's better. You can't see my double chin. Okay. Yeah, let's do it from this way. That's a better angle. Um, van life can be inconvenient and stressful sometimes. Um, but now that I'm kind of getting used to things and I have more adventuring than I do you know, staying in the city when I'm at work. It's just, it's had a calming effect on me. Having my dog with me all the time has had a calming effect on me. So I really and truly do just recommend this for everyone. Um, my hair is all nice and fresh and clean. I washed it this morning. Uh, I think it needs a trim in the back though. And, uh, oh, I still got to show you guys how I do that, how I do the whole bath and hair thing in the van. Yeah, I do it. It's a, it's a full bath, practically a shower, and it feels wonderful. Um, it's definitely doable. I need to get a selfie stick, so I don't have to keep holding this. But, um, I don't know. Things are going pretty good, and um, I'm relaxing, and hopefully the weather will start cooling off pretty soon here. Um, I think my... My dog sitter may be a little stressed because Betty is a handful. She is. She is such a handful. Um, but I love her, you know, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with her just because it's hard. You know, there's been many of my times, many times in my life that things have gotten hard and I've just given up. You know, I've given up on people. I've given up on ideas. I've given up on dreams. I've given up on jobs. All because things were just, in my mind too hard. I couldn't deal with them. But uh, that's all been changing. That's all changed. Okay. I need to not cry. I need to not cry in this video. I need to just be normal. <laughs> be normal and happy. And these are tears of joy actually because I'm happier now than I have been in a really long time. So... All you depressed people out there, get yourself a van. Throw up some insulation and some curtains. A few rugs down, build yourself a little bed. Definitely get a thick memory foam mattress. And just go out and do things. It's, it's going to be good for you. It will be good for you. Because believe me, had I not made a change, I don't even know if I'd still be here. Because I was getting to the point where I was just always in the apartment. I didn't want to leave. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't even taking the dog for a walk. I just let her out in my back patio and, you know, um, I wasn't having any fun. I wasn't getting out. I wasn't adventuring. I wasn't going camping or fishing, which are two things that I just love to do because from my childhood, that, that is where the good memories revolve around is camping and fishing, especially with my dad. But, uh, you know, things change, times change, and, um, but if I had not gotten into this van, each and every day, my life would have been the exact same thing. Go to work, come home, get on the computer, 
play some games, you know, um, do whatever, and then go to bed, and that's it. And uh, that's what my life was, and now my life is everything. I've got those good chemicals flowing through my body, I'm getting more exercise, um, I'm eating healthy, and uh, life, life is really beginning to straighten itself out, so... I'll tell you, if you're considering doing it and if you're on the fence, do it. Just do it. And I don't think you'll regret it. I think you're going to like it. Got to be strong. You got to be very strong. You got to be courageous. You have to be, um, I don't know what the word for it. I mean, self-sufficient. You, be, you have to be able to take care of yourself. And if you don't know how to take care of yourself, you have to be willing to learn. There's lots of things that you're going to have to learn, but I'm telling you what, guys, this is this has been awesome, and uh, I'm just chilling out right now at a park because I was just super, super tired, um, and uh, look, Betty, I'm just going to turn this around this way. I hope I'm getting her in the camera right. She is just relaxed as ever, so it's been good for her, too, although she doesn't still doesn't like me leaving the van. That's getting a little better. But anyhow, yeah, guys, that's all I got for you. I'll see you in the next video. This is where this doggy would be, right here, curled up on my chest, every single day. God love her. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.